Hello guys, welcome to another one of my tutorials. This is Carlos from computer-fix.co.uk. Today I'm teaching you how to burn XGD3 files on a Macintosh. Let's take a look. Okay, so you're watching this video because you want to learn how to burn XGD3 files. Let me just remind you that these files are from my personal games, games that I've purchased, and they are the allowed copy that I'm allowed to have in the United Kingdom of each game I purchase. Uh, I don't know if you have kids. I have kids, and um, my my original discs were absolutely scratched to bits. Uh, days after purchase so I uh, learned how to modify my Xbox and um, by doing that I was able to make a backup of my own personal games and instead of ruining the originals that cost me 40 50 pounds I now ruin just the backup which is great because I can keep my originals intact and if I have to sell them later down the line uh, I will get quite a bit of money for them so let's get started on how to burn XGD3 files so first you're on a Macintosh limited software is very different from Windows in Windows you've got image burn which will do it all for you on a Macintosh you haven't got that but you've got something really close to it and it is called uh, iOS ISO burn okay so this little program here does what no other program does on a Mac it lets you define a layer break this is crucial when you're burning XGD3 files and uh, without it you will just go all over the place and the game will not be able to play so as you will have to buy this software it's in the App Store and it costs if I'm not mistaken $4.99 first of all you launch the program ISO burn as you, as you just saw me launching it and um, uh, it's asking for a disk to be inserted okay so the drive that you're seeing here is not XGD3 compatible you will need to buy yourself a drive that has a B in it like this one here IS-124B you can also purchase the IS-324B and 524B or you can cross flashes if you know how to do that but any drive will not work you will need a B drive for it to work okay so the disk is in the drive now uh, it's just waiting for it to read and it should give me some information on the disk that that I've inserted so um, as you can see here I've got a DVD plus R dual layer and it's telling me that it can do 8334 um, it's overwritable yes appendable yes and tracks and sessions none because it's obvious there's nothing on the disk it's a blank disk the layer break is set to the XGD3 which is 2133 520 so now all we need to do is select a speed this one is only a 2.4 and um, get your uh, test or get your image the image you've got to um, burn that you've made from your original disk um, I'm not going to teach you how to do that in this video this is just literally uh, explaining you how to burn it uh, so uh, you can do it in two ways you can either drag the ISO to the drop your disk image here or drag the test.dvd and that will make everything um, 
uh, will adjust all the layer break and everything. So as you can see, it's got the file name. Is it just a test ISL? The file type is ISL. The file size is 8.14G, and as as you can see at the bottom, uh, the layer break is already defined exactly like it should be: 21335200. You click on that to enable that layer break, um, to verify your burn, and to eject afterburn. And that is it. Just click burn and it's ready to go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you did like this video. Please don't, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you in the next one.